Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from the world of digital infrastructure. And we are coming at you live. That's right, Miranda, we are streaming live. Uh, we are coming at you live from Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. And I am here with my old new friend, my new old, my young old, my friend, uh, my friend Miranda Gardner. Miranda is the executive director of the iMasons Climate Accord. Miranda, it is always so good to see you. Dean, always good to see you too. I think what, New York? I think it was New York, New York. was last yeah, right. time we saw each other. I can't Check. remember. Something like that, yeah. E e e either way. Um, but in this industry, it's happening at the, the speed of, of light. So yesterday. Yes, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> exactly, yesterday. So between now and yesterday, tell us what is going on with the iMasons Climate Accord. What's new in your world? Yeah, so much has been going on over the last six months, eight months. Mm -hmm. One is we actually issued from our governing body uh, letter and call to action on EPDs, on environmental product declarations. Mm -hmm. The value of them in our supply chain, the value of them for our companies in terms of reporting this third-party verification. Mm -hmm. It's really taken off in terms of networks globally. People are hearing this, they're responding to it, they're listening that this is in fact really critical for how we do this, that we're not just guessing yes. at the numbers, yes. we're putting hard facts on paper evaluating them. The other things that have been coming out, we had a case study on nuclear, the benefits, opportunities, maybe not so many opportunities, right, if yes. you will, the opposite side of that from our power working group. So that is available on our website to download, as is the call to action and right. letter on EPDs. And then we've been doing just a lot of work that's kind of crossing over into what our 2025 initiatives will be when we're focusing on things. Again, what's the power conversation going to be? How do we reduce emissions when it comes to our scope three? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, all the companies that have joined newly to the climate accord and, and getting more involved. So we just keep growing, right? I did an interview just earlier today and they were talking about the iMasons climate accord and I'm Even just better, like, thank really? you. I did not pay them to really? say that. <laughs> but listen, Miranda, you said something that um, I, I queued in on uh, immediately, uh, nuclear. When we're talking about the nuclear option, mm -hmm. it would be irresponsible of us not to be considering all forms of clean energy and the iMasons Climate Accord is really kind of a, uh, a body that is looking at that. It's not just about the, the renewables, but also about all forms of cleaner energy, correct? Absolutely. It's about a transition plan. Yeah. We know that overnight, no one power source can do what we needed to do in this and industry, we're learning right? About that globally, that's right. Absolutely, and so I mean, and again, we're in Texas, where yeah. I think it's the largest generation of wind power comes from this state. It's economically yeah. viable. It's part of again their grid. Yeah. Nuclear, though, is also online in terms of especially emissions. This is one of the cleanest sources of power that we have, and again, yeah. also provides the capacity needs yeah. for our industry. So we are really looking at it. Uh, how do we move away? How do we balance the load? And of mm -hmm. course, how do we supply this increasing kind of demand that we're seeing out of our industry and others? It's not just based on yeah, this, right? And the thing, the, the stigma, obviously, of nuclear is 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 more ingrained in, and dare I say, older generations. Maybe Absolutely. Even, even my generation. But this isn't like the Three Mile Island nuclear. This isn't, you know, this isn't Chernobyl. This is something, you know, that's different and and more and, and it's safer and proven literally all over all over the world. So um, very very cool. Um, anything more on uh, uh, on the things coming out of the the newsroom over there at iMasons? Uh, well, I, I guess just to, to kind of close and recap on our nuclear conversation, yes, we have some companies that are involved that are dealing with SMRs, uh, small modular reactors. Okay. And so, if you were at Data Cloud, you mm, Data World. They just sent a roll. One of these, right? In, in DC, <laughs> in April, they had a mock up on site, which was really, That's I think, right. very educational right. for people to see. You could see how big it was. You could kind of get close yeah, to it. Yeah. Uh, so that, of Again, course, is really. It's a different animal. Right. It, and you, you just have to get educated about it. Yeah. And that, I think, is also the biggest part of what's going on with the Climate Accord. What are the educational tools that we need to do? What are the webinars, the publications, the engagements being here, for example, yeah. to really let the market understand and know what's happening. As usual, you're transitioning better than I could possibly. <laughs> but um, speaking of education, um, let's talk about kind of the next gen workforce. Folks yes. like you um, who have had the, the baton passed to you and are, are taking off. Um, how important is it for the uh, for the iMasons and the, and the Climate Accord folks um, 
to be bringing in those kind of new dreamers, those that the fresh, the fresh talent, those new, those new technologists. Yeah. I mean, top of mind. Yeah. Top of mind. If you go even back one year to when we were in Singapore at our member summit at that time, the first point coming out of it, meaning the top 10 issues in the market, next generation workforce yeah. and the workforce yeah. that we need was there. And, you know, while I can't speak to it as robustly as our director of education, Courtney Pop can, uh -huh. or her Jason curriculum, which is <laughs> award winning now, just won an award. So take a look at that. Uh, we really are working collaboratively to ensure that as that next gen comes in, they are familiar with the topics on sustainability and emissions reductions. They are familiar with how do we educate and bring new people in behind yeah. them as well. I mean, yeah. they know that, you know, there's somebody following in their footsteps, right. right? Dreamers are born every day. Absolutely. Yeah. And so part of what we're hoping to do next year is kind of branch into more kind of digital media with it, um, work together on some of those curriculum modules. So again, they Love have it. things yeah. about nuclear, they have yes. things about what's going on with the climate accord. And then that really becomes kind of a hub for those dreamers and those seasoned professionals to engage together to kind of help deliver this. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Thanks so, so much for You're being welcome. with us. Thanks for be having me, being yeah. here, having me. <laughs> having, having you being here. It's, always. A, it's, all, it's all great. <laughs> and thank you, viewers, for having us um, on your computer screen right now. Thanks for joining and happy networking.